Hi, Big Rob from Slide Pets here with a video about uh, growing taller and morning heights. I was looking through an old hard drive, a big bulky old hard drive there, and I found a couple of images from 2008. This is when I, I got the stadiometer, and obviously for the first week or so I was testing it. Uh, and I remember trying to test my morning height and what the maximum I could get. Now, one of the times I, I first took a measurement, you can see here, Big Rob in 2008, was, this is a, a typical, I think I put a seven hour sleep day. And I was looking at it and thinking that was 174.4-ish. Uh, and I've got a file, I, it was called Top Morning Height. You can see there. This is this is within 30, 40 seconds of waking up. You know, quickly throwing the clothes. I had the camera set up the night before in the proper position, and then setting the timer and taking the photograph. And this was my top morning height back in 2008. I managed to get, which was about 174.7, right on 5 foot 8.75. So that's me in 2008. 5.8.75 on the device. Now, people on websites like Pets will rem remember back in 2005, me saying morning height was in the 5.8.6 range, which kind of ties in with that because the stadiometer, of course, gives a wee eighth of an inch error. So my morning height back in 2005 to 2008 or 9 was between 5.8.6 and 7. Uh, but what about nowadays? The last few years, actually, this morning, check out this video. Quarter to seven. I'm just uh, 30 seconds out of bed. I'm going to check my morning height after a good nine hours sleep to see if I've reached a peak morning height. So standing tall. And that is 175.4. You just saw there, my morning height was 175.4, which is the maximum morning height I ever can achieve. Compared to 2008, that's like seven mil, seven, about 7 millimetres difference, which isn't insignificant. Now, the only thing that I've done over those years is just a very basic three or four minutes a day of simple exercise to maintain my posture. I've done this with Jenny as well uh, because she's in her 40s, she's lost a little fraction. I'm working with her on some basic techniques for her posture so that as she ages, hopefully, hopefully she won't lose as much as other people do because when you get in your 40s and 50s, you can sometimes develop bad habits in your spine uh, your spinal shape adjusts slightly and then your shoulders hunch and etc and you get into bad habits and you can't actually stand as tall as you once could but have I, have I actually grew tall in my 30s? Now I could say look at that, there's me in 2008 and 2009 there's a fraction of a difference there, I've grew taller have I? I don't know, I don't think so I think what I've done is because of these 3 or 4 minutes of very basic manoeuvres I do every day I have somehow maximise my morning height. My posture is now at the optimal level at age 38. Uh, and even my core and my back muscles are helping me stand as tall as I can. Because there's people on YouTube who spent months and months doing one or two hours of stretching a day and they're saying they've gained a little bit of height. Uh, good luck to them. I think everybody who isn't like a gymnast or an athlete has a potential in them to maximise the morning height. Even five minutes a day could help that over time. Has it helped with me? There's some evidence there. It possibly could have helped. But I think to actually say, have you grew? You would need to demonstrate a morning height at least half an inch taller. I think then you can see there's something, there's something there. But anyway, what else have I done in eight years? Well, 
I've stopped watching soap operas. I've visited celeb heights thousands and thousands of times. So now you know. Visit celeb heights and stop watching EastEnders or General Hospital and you might gain that fraction of an inch. See you in the next video.